Breonna Taylor's family and the national group Until Freedom saw a large turnout in New York City this weekend where they held a march for the 26-year-old. Until Freedom moved to Louisville months before the decision was made in Taylor's case, but what comes next? Tonight, Gebregetigas joins us after speaking with one of the co-founders. From the Commonwealth to the Big Apple. And the very big message in that rally was the prosecutors are elected, the district attorneys are elected, the attorney generals are elected, and we have to make sure that our protest always meets the polls. To amplify calls for justice in the Breonna Taylor case, Until Freedom moved to Louisville back in August. We did not come here to not get justice. We understand that there's a lot of work for us to do. In particular, this happens to be during one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime, of our generation. Co-founder Linda Sarsour is one of the leaders that has helped organize large demonstrations like the one in front of the attorney general's home. But right now, the energy is going towards the upcoming election. We must win this election, that we must mobilize voters, particularly black voters, other marginalized people to get to the polls and win this election with a mandate. The group is currently visiting key states States for its state of emergency tour. The members residency is still in Louisville, but they have plans to officially move back home after the election. Sarsour says, but that doesn't mean their job is done. The grand jury is not the last word in this matter. We also know that the FBI still has a pending investigation. There are many opportunities for this case. We still have Mayor Fisher who has the authority and power to fire all police officers involved in the murder of Breonna Taylor. So there are still many remedies for us to go through and we are con connected to this community and connected to this case in a very personal way. Some of their ongoing projects in Louisville include calls for an independent special prosecutor to investigate Taylor's case. They're also helping renovate the Carl Braden Community Center for local activists to continue to organize for social justice. Coming back to kind of wrap up, you know, some of the projects that we have, but continuing to figure out what the strategy is moving forward. Daniel Cameron has not heard the last of us. Mayor Fisher has not heard the last of us. We will continue to organize and we believe again that Louisville is the epicenter of our movements around ending police brutality and on bringing police accountability across the country. For WHS 11 News, I'm Sunite Gabriel